time for this. Wow! <laughs> what happened here with my Natasha there? Yeah, probably because of the hoverbot, I jumped up so high that I could, I don't know, if, if this pipeline wouldn't have been above me, that would have been a nice view on the map. Imagine this, that would have been really cool. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the 3.7 test server this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, which goes in two phases, and we have a lot of new stuff to show you. This is the new stuff. First, we have a new map called Carrier. We already know this from a while ago on this big ship. Then we have a new weapon called Iron coming in, level 8, 7,700 damage, 600 meters range, oh my goodness, okay? Then we have a medium weapon called Ballista, which sounds like a projectile to me, uh, also 480 to 9,600 damage, so it seems to have a floating uh, re reload where you can fire in the middle of that. Then we have a heavy weapon called Thermite, which you already know. We have a new weapon called, a new bot called Mercury, um, which will have the Hell Drive ability that will deal 25,750 damage and has a 4 seconds cooldown, uh, and 4 seconds stealth, huh? Okay, so, and the new robot Pursuer, uh, which is going to be very fast with 64 kph, and the Hunt ability that will give it 67% more speed, and the stealth ability for 10 seconds, man. New robot Hellburner, we already know that. I'm linking a video to the video description, to the comments, and at the end of this video here, where I'm using five Hellburners to deal more than a million damage with level 8 equipment. Go ahead, check it out, it's really funny, guys. Oh, a new starting screen also, by the way. Look at this. This must be one of those new bots that are coming into the game. So let's go in. The way this works is, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new map. Wow, look at those new loading screens. Cool. Um... Yeah, the new map carrier, that's the first phase of this test server. It will go on for a while, uh, for today, I think, and tomorrow, uh, or something around this. And then the next phase will be um, the day after, where we can test all the new weapons and robots. So you're going to get two test server videos from me this time. Uh, first with the phase one and the new map that you can see here. Beautiful horizon, by the way. I love the look of these ships back there in the background. Also, the new textures on the ship we're on. Looks pretty good right now. Really, really good. Well designed. Last time I saw this map, it didn't have any textures. And the beacons were differently located, right? So it really looks like a great, great map. And th this map is designed in a very specific way. You have... Um, you have this this like long hose of a, of a ship and you move inevitably closer to your enemy at some point capture beacons and on beacon rush this will be amazing because you're gonna have to fight and brawl very distant to close to them or you're gonna jump into a sniper bot from further away but you will have a chance to jump into uh, into bots with a brawling hangar and really do a great job right so we have someone coming up here with a hover bot he's out of my range though oh now he's getting in range and he just used his ability uh, but he can't be hit right there where he is. Um, trying to, get, I don't know, get a few hits in. This hover bot. Okay, here we go. Why is... <laughs> I just hit the button, by the way. I just really hit it, and it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to shoot another one right here. Yup, that was a good angle, and he's down. So they capture the center beacon. So in, the, in beacon rush, they can spawn here. Domination, of course, you still have to walk all the way from the, from the back there. Um, let's see if we can get a hit in. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Nice. So I'm having a, a dock with uh, Orkans and uh, a Vortex at the same time. I think that's a really, really interesting combination. Because you can hit people behind cover, and if they are not behind cover and close, you can really do a lot of damage. And the Vortex is very good at draining shields too, right? So uh, definitely something to test and, uh, and worth playing around with. So I don't want to get hit by the Trebuchet over there, so let's try to be a little careful. Alright, uh, he's behind cover. I only made a, a tiny little mini hit. So this hoverbot has tried to hit me here with his his vortex. And he's jumping up now. So once he's going down, I should be able to hit him pretty well. Like this. Boom! Oh my god, that was a really good hit. Trebuchets hit me. Really good, big hit from them. Damn it. Um, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. That's a lot of damage he's going to do to us. And, of course, the trebuchets, again. A lot of people are playing the Fury right now on the test server, which is quite surprising to me. Because it's actually, it's like, it's a... Uh, yeah, maybe they don't have it on their own account, so they try to run it if they can here, right? Uh, we already lost a uh, Vortex. We have the center beacon, and right now we're in the lead. And uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, with a very damaged dock from this point on. By the way, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the new uh, the new weapons tested tomorrow. Oh, no, this is it. Boom. 
already destroyed. I was trying to find a good moment to use these little hit points that we had, and somebody was just waiting for me to pop out of the bridge. And this, of course, you know, why, this is why I'm saying this is an outdated game mode. Now, I was brave, I was fighting, and I was not sitting back doing nothing. I was actually involved in the battle, and now I'm punished by having to walk two minutes or so just to get back into a battle, right? Um... That's why I think the uh, Dominion uh, Domination mode is kind of outdated. But, yeah, just me, maybe. So here comes the Rogatka. Uh, and he is in range. Gonna fire a little bit. But he will be wa uh, jumping back, of course. And uh, I'm not sure... He's, he hit me. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a lot of damage I'm getting here. So hoping that I can get, get this guy out of the way real quick. All right, now... He has some kind of shotgun we weapons. Maybe a dog with Storm? I don't know. I'm trying to get as much distance as I can from him. Uh, I also have Storm, by the way, right? So I can bring my shield up here and do a lot of Storm damage into his face. And my shield should hold and protect me for a little while, as long as I need to get him out of the game. All right, good. Not a bad combination, if you ask me, to have uh, Orkin and Gust on the, uh, on the Galahad. The, sh the physical shield protects you for quite a while from damage. Let's see what this is. What do we have here around the corner? Uh, aphids. Uh-oh, okay. But very fast bot. Incredibly fast bot. I, I don't stand no chance of getting hit, hit, him, hit him there. And I just drained, I just dropped my frontal shielding. Are you kidding me? He shouldn't have even attempted that shot. Like, to be honest, he shouldn't have even tried to shoot because he saw my physical shield. But what he didn't know, I, in that mini millisecond, I dropped the shield to be able to walk up on the Jesse faster, right? That was my plan. And of course, in that very moment, he still hit the button anyways, and he was even rewarded for that. He should have hit my frontal shield and not dealt any damage. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we're still having, we're still in control of most of the beacons, so overall we're doing a good job. There's a little Jesse aphid there still. It will be a little bit difficult to catch him because he's being protected by all the snipers. All the snipers in the back are protecting him with their trebuchets and whatnot. It won't be an easy thing to get him. So here we go. Of course he's firing at me, and I was able to dodge. Most of that. Uh-oh, we have Vortex shooting at us. That Fujin right there is shooting Vortex. Maybe I can hit him from here. Yeah, I can. That's good. Maybe the Vortex of him won't get me here so much. Right? Yeah, some of those Vortex were stuck. Somebody is shooting back with Tarans now, though. That isn't exactly how I planned this. <laughs> we're still alive, though, and we have the center beacon. From here, we can protect it quite well. This is going to be an interesting position, by the way. Um, because it offers cover against all these missile, uh, all these missiles, um, and it, you can th uh, fire through these um, through the rafters here, through these pipelines. It's pretty good. What I, I don't even see what they have over there. It's something big with maybe a fury. It might be a fury with Zeus. Problem is I can't see it. Nah, you can't hit any of these things. Now I can hit it. The Fury is getting a lot of damage now. Good. But I was also getting some damage from uh, from the Vortex. And this must be a Lancelot because he's just not taking any damage. I don't want to jump right now because if I do, I will, uh, I will get hit by all the Vortex. After the landing, you're going to get all the Vortex damage. Maybe if I can get this guy to shoot, but you can see the Lancelot coming in the background there. He's in... He has 350 meters range with his weapon. Maybe I can make them all fire. He still hit me, though. That is interesting. Come on, die, Fujin. Die. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice. I got through his shield. Oh, God. Even though I'm below this, uh, this bridge... Still getting hit by the by the vortex. That's not so good for me. In five seconds, I have my jump, but no time for this. Whoa! <laughs> what happened here with my Natasha? There, probably because of the hoverbot, I jumped up so high that I could. I don't know if if this pipeline wouldn't have been above me, that would have been a nice view on the map. Imagine this; that would have been really cool. Um. So yeah, 
I can't stress this enough, guys. This is just the first out of two test server videos you're going to get. The other one will feature the new bot Pursuer, the new bot, um... What is the other thing called? Hold on. Uh, the new bot Pursuer, then Hellburner is, of course, Mercury, the weapon Ballista, and Iron. And, of course, the Thermite, which we have already seen a couple of times, right? So all this will be coming with the test server video, maybe tomorrow. But right now, I still wanted to give you the experience of the new map and how it looks like right now. I really am... I th look, there's even some, some uh, planes, like jet planes uh, right there. That's cool. I can drain the shield on that Lancelot. He's got Vortex, and I have do uh, Thunder and Gust. And he's walking away from me. I can drain that shield too. He's just, look, he's just sitting on that beacon, like, <laughs> he's just sitting there. It's like he was killed, like, or, or thrown out of the match, that's what it looks like. Alright, we're close to him now to, can, to be able to deal a lot of damage. And you see here the, the, th the shotguns are very powerful, uh, especially when you have a lot of them. And we even had a shotgun uh, friend with us. The problem, of course, is now that I can be penetrated by plasma damage. And somebody has had a really good idea. He switched into a plasma um, griffin right there. I can do a lot of damage to him, but at the same time, he can do a lot of damage to me too. When is his Taran finally reloading? Was it just me, or did that Taran never seem to reload? That was weird. Huh. Why is my hoverbot so slow? Come on, slow hover. I want to get in range one more time just to open fire for a second. No, the match is going to end in a second. I won't be, I won't be able to deal any damage. Why? Because domination mode. You get, you go forward, you attack somebody, and once you die, you get a harsh, the hardest punishment you could ever get. The fact that you have to walk for two minutes just to get back into firing range. Uh, if it was up to me, I would only play Beacon Rush, really. Just, uh, I like it more. The f uh, share feedback, this is something you should always do on the test servers. Keep in mind, guys, sharing feedback. Very important, because this way you can get invitation next time again to the test server. So I'm going to do this in a second, okay? But I'm going to, uh, show you now the damage statistics first. Here it is, 7, 701,000 damage. That's what we have done, uh, with our few bots that we had. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys stay tuned for the test server video I'm gonna make maybe tomorrow or something. The one with the new weapons and bots, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.